Hey everybody, it's Flying Ryan here, and today I am reviewing the Blade 120S from Horizon Hobby. Uh, I just have the bind and fly version, so there's no transmitter with this one. I've been flying it with my uh, DX6. Um, however, you know, the ready to fly transmitter is pretty standard for the um, Blade model, so I'm sure you've seen it before in my reviews. And there's not really that much to this one, it just has. Um, rates and two different modes and you know that's really that's it it's a fixed pitch helicopter so there's no you know inverted flying or anything like that um the original 120 was a pretty popular mo model and now they've come out with the 120s which adds um let's see where does it say it anywhere no it doesn't yeah here we go uh, easy to fly safe technology so the safe technology is basically six axis stabilization uh, so now it has an accelerometer in it so it has auto leveling so you know you stick move the stick forward and let off and it's going to auto level back out uh, which makes helicopters much easier to fly uh, you know really stress-free and to me it feels more natural i mean you let off the stick and it recenters the helicopter should move back with it so i i really like six axis and helicopters i think it makes them fly really nice um, this does have the three different modes, so you could have um, low angle stability, high angle stability, and agility. Uh, so with the low angle stability, you can only bank so much, and then the high angle gives you a little bit more bank. Uh, but those still both use the accelerometer, and they'll auto level. And then agility mode turns off the accelerometer, so now you have a normal three-axis gyro, and it's going to hold its angle until you give opposite stick input. And so then that's going to give you full bank limits or you know full bank angle, so you can uh, do loops and rolls and stuff. You know, not you can't fly upside down because it's not collective pitch, but you can do you know full loops and everything in agility mode. Um, and then, you know, I think with the RTF transmitter, you'll have two rates. If you use your own programmable spectrum, like a DX6, you can have two or three rates, uh, depending on what switch you put it on. Um, I found that uh, on 100% rates, it still felt a little bit slow. Even on high angle stability, 100% rates... It just didn't seem to have enough pitch for me. Uh, so I turned my rates up to 125%, and that felt better. It still doesn't quite feel that nimble. Um, even completely maxed out, it doesn't have a ton of pitch to it. Um, so I was a little bit underwhelmed with this, actually. It just doesn't quite fly... I don't know, what. not how I was expecting. I was thinking that this was going to be, you know, just a really nice size for kind of flying in the area that I fly in. And I was just really expecting good things from it. And it just leaves me a little bit underwhelmed. Uh, it feels a little bit slow and heavy, a little underpowered. Uh, just kind of a little, little bit of a tank in the air. Just kind of a little clumsy and not too, not too nimble or precise or fast. So a little underwhelmed. And then I've also found that sometimes I think the accelerometer gets confused or something and I'll go to take off and it'll just, it'll pitch way over hard to the left and I've got to unplug it and restart it and make sure that it's on the level surface as it starts and then it'll work out. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on there, but sometimes I think the accelerometer gets a little confused. Uh, you can recalibrate it by holding both sticks out to the you know bottom outside corners, and then you're supposed to hover for 15 seconds and use as little stick input as possible. So just hold the stick wherever you think it needs to be to try to hold that hover, then land it, rebind it, and then that should set in that new uh, recalibration. I tried that a few times, and I really couldn't tell if it did anything or not. Uh, it's, it's a pretty complex recalibration when you're supposed to try to hold a hover, and I couldn't say that it really did anything for me. Um, but it, you know, it, it does hold a pretty decent hover. Um, you know, the the accelerometers in a helicopter don't make them quite as stable as like a quadcopter where you've got the four rotors and they're more naturally stable anyway. Uh, so even with the accelerometer, it's not like this thing's going to just sit there and hover in place. It it still tends to drift around a little bit, uh, but it does hold a pretty nice hover for a helicopter. Uh, let's see. Oh, um, the battery. 
is a 1S LiPo, 500 milliamp hours, and it comes with this little USB charger. Uh, it takes about an hour and 10 minutes to charge, and you get about uh, five minute total flights. Uh, so if you set your timer on our computer radio, set it for five minutes. Um, it's actually about four minutes and 10 second long flights, and then there's a 50 second LVC warning. Uh, which doesn't, it's like only in the board here, you can see it blinking inside. And that LED also changes colors uh, when you go from stability to agility. Um, so you have to be kind of close to be able to see that light blinking. But it does blink to tell you that it's on the LVC warning. And it'll do that for 50 seconds. Uh, but overall, you get five minute long flights. Uh, let's see, anything else to say? Nope, that it covers it, so let's go take it out for a flight. Alright, this is the flight review of the Blade 120S. This is the uh, update of their popular 120, but now it has the uh, safe 6-axis self-leveling system. So, nice flyer, and it comes in green. I always like that. Let's give her a flight. Take off my throttle hold. And high rates. And stability high angle so we can fight this bit of a breeze we've got today. And it's not super sporty, it's still a little bit slow even in high rates and um, high angle. Just kind of try to get it trimmed out for a second. Probably the wind pushing it back. Looking pretty good and stable. Go ahead and give her a spin. You can get a little bogged down on the throttle sometimes too. It's kind of heavy. So you got to stay on top of the throttle or you can end up running out of power. It's full pitch with the wind. Come back into the wind. Full pitch into the wind. So like I said, still Whoa! Did something really weird there, turning into the wind. Kind of went uh, into a nosedive. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, this thing's not great with the wind. It's not a huge fan of it, but looks like it went undamaged. No, it's still kind of kind of nosediving when I go into a turn there. What's that all about? Yeah, I think the accelerometer got confused. Go ahead and unplug it and restart it over here out of the wind. Yeah, I've had a lot of trouble with this thing kind of losing its accelerometer setting or something. It'll get kind of confused and want to angle off to the side. Seems like I almost every flight I need to restart it at least once. Let's see what it does. All right. Yeah, I think you're probably best off keeping this one a little bit calm. It seems to seems to get a little iffy if you go too crazy with it. Yeah, I'm trying to do a full yaw. I'm trying to do a funnel there. That's full yaw, full pitch. And look at it, it's like doing like in steps. It's almost like the safe system is fighting it from doing a funnel. Yeah, there once I actually got a throttle going, it did, or a funnel going, it didn't have the throttle to keep up with it. Ah. Now maybe I think it's confused again. Seems like it's wanting to lean to the side. Let's see. Yep, see every once in a while it just does this thing where it wants to start leaning to the side. Gotta restart it again. And 
Now it's fine. So I'm not really sure what that's all about. This one, this one may need to keep it, may need to keep this one calm. Got a bit of a breeze kicking up now. Bring it back over across the street. Yeah, it seems like if you don't go too crazy with it, it does pretty well, but trying doing funnels and stuff and it starts to get confused and then wants to lean. It's almost like this fly is more like a scale flyer. Pretty good at that, just do slow, mild circuits. Seems to be handling the wind fairly well and I keep it calm like this. All right, well, there's the timer. Bring her in for landing. So that did pretty well there when I just kept it nice and mild and just did some circuit flying. Seems like if you try to go too crazy with this one, it gets a little, a little confused. The, the accelerometer kind of gets out of whack or something. But looks like even with all that crashing I was doing, it, I don't see any crack skid or even any damage to the canopy or anything. It looks like it did pretty well with the crashes I gave it so yeah I think this one's more of a mild flyer you know keep it calm and you should do all right with it anyway check the video description for price and purchase link I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time